Top Democrats in Congress are asking Defense Secretary Jim Mattis to investigate money accepted by National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, saying the retired Army Lieutenant General may have violated the Constitution's Emoluments Clause by accepting money from a foreign government. Good evening. Here's their argument. The Emoluments Clause prohibits those holding any office of profit or trust under the U.S. government, including people in public office or military positions, from accepting payments, fees, gifts, titles, or offices from foreign governments without approval from Congress. The clause applies even to retired military personnel, according to a 2013 white paper published by the Department of Defense's Standards of Conduct Office. Why? because they're subject to recall and therefore continue to hold offices of trust. In a letter to the Pentagon, Democratic lawmakers allege that Flynn may have violated the clause in 2015, prior to joining the Trump administration, when the retired Lieutenant General was paid to speak at a gala in Moscow celebrating Russia's state-sponsored television network, RT. Flynn sat near Russia's President Vladimir Putin that evening, and he also appeared regularly on RT after retiring from the army in 2014. We have a, a Islamic state that has gone beyond being a regional threat. According to the white paper, business corporations owned or controlled by foreign governments are considered part of a foreign state for purposes of the Emoluments Clause. Being live on RT International. So what's the penalty for violating the Constitution's Emoluments Clause? According to cases outlined in the paper, retired military personnel have had to forfeit retirement pay based on the amount of money they made from a foreign government and the amount of time they were proven to be in violation of the clause. A Department of Defense spokesperson described the white paper as informational, like a user guide, and not an official directive. This is not the first time Flynn's ties to Russia have come under scrutiny. And as the Democratic lawmakers note, Flynn has not disclosed how much he was paid for his engagements.